What's happening guys? Safety Liner C2 here. Wow, this is a really, really old bus. But, um, yeah, so, if you've been listening to my past couple videos, um, I've been mentioning that I'd like to do kind of re-reviews with my buses, and I, um, I don't really want to do re-reviews, that was kind of a bad word, but I want to review them, well, yeah, I guess it's re-review them, um, but really in the past, if you've noticed my, my, um, reviewing videos, it's been more of me just saying, yeah, this is a good bus, no, that's a bad bus, but that's pretty much it, you know, nothing much comes after that, um, so what I have compiled is a actual number score for each bus and I'm gonna start doing that and as you can see I'm using the HDX and um, I'm gonna do this with all the buses that I've done um, maybe some of the non meshed buses some of the uh, just something you know just something thrown together but um, I'd like to do I'd like to start using this actual scale, and it'll be a number scale, so it'll be 0 to 100, and I have 10 different categories um, that you'll be able to, uh, that I'll be ranking them on, and based on that, they're each worth about, they're each worth 10 points, and then add those all up, and then um, we'll get a number, and it's pretty much like a uh, grade, so the higher the number the uh, the better the score. So anyway, let's go ahead and start. Uh, we are using Grayson's 2012 Thomas HDX, um, and I'll start off by saying this is one of the older buses in ROR. You come and look. Um, I really haven't seen a lot of stuff on this recently, um, and part of that is because it's very laggy and people don't allow it on their servers. That is one of the main reasons why it's not used a lot. But on single player, it's not a bad bus. Um, but I really, this is my first time using it in a very long time. Um, but I do very much enjoy this bus, um, except for the lag. So it is a huge huge lag machine on servers um, but otherwise it's a beautiful crafted bus beautifully crafted bus rather um, and Grayson did an amazing job with this one as he did with his other two being the uh, the Vision and his recently released C2 not really recent but um, his most recent one, I guess. So, anyway, let's go ahead and start off. So, uh, the first category is the looks. Um, so, it'll be five points for the outside and five points for the interior of the bus. Um, and starting off, I think this front, and you do have to keep in mind, this, as far as I'm aware, this was his first bus that he created. So, I've got to give him credit for that. He did do a very good job. And this was also a very, this is also a very old bus now. Um, so compared to what what we're seeing now, especially with Grayson, it's a lot different. But um, still, I'm going to be judging it on the same scale. Um, so looks on the outside. Something I'm noticing right now um, is that there's two different blacks. There's a black around the warning light, and then there's a, a lighter black right here. Um, and you you might not be able to see that, but if you look very closely, there is two different blacks, and that's just something I'm noticing right now. Um, also, the bus looks more blockish on the front than it should be. Um, these um, turning signals up here could have been a little more rounded out, um, like, I mean, they're round right there, but could, like the 3D round, but uh, that's that's a very hard thing to do. Um, let's see, coming back out here, I do like the addition of the crossing gate. I'm not really sure what these yellow things under here are because I I don't know. Um, I also do like the addition of the under storage. I think that was a cool thing to add. Um, the back, 
Um, it's not bad. I don't like how on the back, uh, right here, it doesn't have the black outline like the front did. If you come and look up here, it has the black all around. But whenever you go and check out the back, it does not. It's yellow around there. Um, I do like the addition of the strobe light right there. And I think that the um, this style of stop sign without the uh, actual flashing lights, but the word stop flashing, I think that's also a, uh, a good thing. Bad things, like I said, I, I don't think it was rounded as much because this is more of a round bus if you actually do look at it. Not so much compared to like a super coach or something, but um, you know. So I think for the outside of the bus, I'm going to give it a three. And then we'll go ahead and check out the inside. Um, I personally do like the inside of the bus. He has his signature look with this kind of uh, leather texture right here, which he uses on the Vision and the C2. Um, this steering wheel is also something I really like, um, and it's pretty responsive too. Um, these switches right here, I think he could have added more just for the looks, even though there's a door and a warning light. I don't know what that one does. I probably can figure it out. Um, I don't like the fact that it's just the default dashes right here, but I do like how he covered up the rest of the default dash so that it's only showing those. Um, and if you look on the actual HDX, there's a little side thing over here, like right here, this uh, compartment, I want to say, not really, but this dash rather uh, extends out and then you have the rest, you have all the... Uh, the gauges right here so if that if he was able to do that I think that'd be a really cool thing um, I do know I'm using the FPS version but I do know that these mirrors work so I think that's cool um, I'm pretty sure this this uh, window opens so um, and then the inside over here you know not an not included he did not include a first aid kit or stuff like that but hey you know it's not that bad um i like the inclusion of the speakers and the lights let's check out here um you can see that he did include a side emergency door and the two window hatches go to the and then this is a security camera that is in the front of the bus so we can look all around in the back and right there I do think this door looks kind of a little bland. Um, I don't know. It just seems like it's missing something. But that could just be me. Um, now we're on the outside of the bus again. So we'll go ahead and give that a 4. Um, so the total score right now is a 7. And we'll go ahead and come back here. Um, so back to... Uh, the outside of the bus and we're going to go ahead and do the features now um, I could be forgetting some features like I said I haven't used this bus in a while um, so I really could be but the basic features of this bus is just pretty much the warning lights and the door now I do think you can get this window to open I'm almost positive that you can I just can't remember how so if I maybe start the bus and mess around with it I'll I might be able to figure it out but um, coming up here you can see the warning lights are strobing and I think that's another category that I'll be doing later um, and then see if these there's a stop signs strobing and then the uh, strobe light in the back so um, let's go ahead and start up the bus and see if I can get this to um, this window to open because I'm almost positive that it can. Um, oh, there we go. There's something that opens. The uh, side emergency door opens. So there is something included. Um, make sure I'm not doing anything over here. Turns out that I stopped my recording and it wasn't lag. So, um, But I, I, I know that there was something that you could do. I guess not. Um, oh well, but the side emergency door opens and that's something that you don't see on any other bus. So um, I gotta give him credit for that, so let's give him a 7 for that for a total overall score of 14 right now. 
Um, now on to the sounds. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the bus off. And then we'll go ahead and turn it back on. And we'll go ahead and start off um, with the engine sounds. So I like the key the key turning and the, uh, the engine beeping. But I do have to take off some points for that startup noise because it's the default sound. Um, but otherwise, I, I love the idle noise of this bus. Um, let's go ahead and rev it up a little bit. And I've always enjoyed the sound of this bus. I This is like, I really wish that the sounds of this were on more buses because they I absolutely love the sounds on this bus. Uh, let's go ahead and do the horn real quick. Default horn, but oh well. Um, now you can't really hear this. Maybe if I get on the inside of the bus. No. Um, I don't know if you can hear it, but I can hear it on my speakers. Um, there is a very, very faint clicking noise. I wish it would be a little bit louder, but I am glad that it's there. And um, also, you can see that this little turning signal on here works, um, which I don't think they have those on the actual HDX. Uh, well, I know they don't, but I think that's still something that they probably should include on there. I think that'd be pretty cool. Um, go ahead and open the door real quick. I don't think that sound is bad. I don't. It's probably not my favorite, but. Once again, not bad. Um, so, I don't think the sounds are bad. In fact, they're probably some of my favorite sounds. So I'm going to go ahead and give that an 8. Um, next thing is going to be the driving. So let's go ahead, let's take it out for a small spin. Um, and we can see what it's like driving the HDX. So, oh, I forgot the parking brake. So, um... We'll get, I like the parking brake, so I'll give it an extra point. So now we're at a total score of 23. So let's go ahead and take out the uh, HDX for a nice spin. Um, so. Oh, I have the parking brake on. That's why. I was about to say I was getting some points off for that. Um, the turning radius isn't that bad. I don't think it's the best thing ever, but um, certainly not horrible. And uh, we'll try this again with a right turn right here, and then we'll do a left turn. So I'll just do a straight right turn. Okay, so the uh, turning radius is not bad at all compared to what I remember. I don't. I remember it being not the best. Um, and you can also see that it is lagging out a little bit right here, but I'll cover that in the next part. So. So, turning radius, not bad. I like it. Um, and the overall driving, this is a smooth bus, so uh, let's go ahead and give it an 8. So plus 8 is a score of 31 right now. Um, the lag, oof, man that lag. Um, this bus is not allowed on pretty much every single server because of, that, because of the fact that it will lag the server so much. And I really do like this bus a lot, um, but it just lags way too much. But on single player, it's a great bus to drive around, so I've got to give it some points for that. But you did see a couple minutes ago that these little switches up here were kind of lagging out. Um, whoa, 
and that one was on me, but just go ahead and restart. Um, so I do have to give it some points for single player, and now I, I forgot about that. So I'll go ahead and give that three. So we're at a score of 34, and we have five more categories to go. Um, and I am just killing this bus right now. Uh, the next one is variability, and by that I mean customization. Um, you can't really customize this bus a whole lot. I do like how there are three different versions of it. You can get the normal bus that has all the features, so the mirrors and uh, all the lights and everything. Um, you get a version without mirrors, and then you get the FPS version, which basically tones down everything. So I do like how those three are included, but you can't really put a skin on top or anything of that nature. So for that, I'll go ahead and give it... Uh, well, maybe five points, so plus five for a score of 39 right now. Um, how realistic is it? I don't think it's the best looking replica. Well, it's pretty much the only repli replica that you can get. Um, I think the engine noises are pretty good, pretty realistic. Um, I like how he included these uh, square uh, the square lights instead of the old circular lights that were used on most, most, H most HDXs. Um, but this front just doesn't look the most realistic to me, so I've got to take up, off a couple points for that. Um, the side doesn't look terrible, and I do like the inclusion of this little um, vent right here, if you will. But um, the inside does look uh, pretty good. But just from the side, it looks more like a Gillig Phantom, just to me, or a, uh, right here now it's looking like an AARE. So, you know, I'm able to tell an HDX from the side, mainly because of these mirrors right here. Um, I'm able to tell what it is, but just from looking at this, if the mirrors were taking off, I'd probably not be able to tell what it is. So for that, I'm going to give it a 5. Um, for a score of 44. Other people's opinions. Um, I do know that there are a lot of people who really, really strongly dislike this bus. Um, and mainly the reason for that is the lag. The lag is real. It is a very, very laggy bus, like I've been saying. But, um, other people also do think um, that this is a very good bus for single player, and I do know a decent amount of people who still do use this bus for single player stuff, so um, I gotta hand it to them. So for that, I'm gonna give it a 4 for that stuff. Um, the next one is the name and other stuff, so for the name, it follows the original name, so I'm gonna give it a 5. Um, and then other stuff, um, I don't think that there are very many like other features on here, other things that make this bus cool. Um, I do like this uh, this striped crossing gate, which you don't really see a whole lot of, but um, this light right here also works, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but so since I guess there's no other features. Uh, I'll give it a 5 for that, just because there's nothing much. Um, well, actually, no, that wouldn't make sense. I'll go ahead and give it a uh, 2. We're at a score of a 55 right now. And then, is it better than the competition? So, does it compete against the other buses that it goes up against? Um, and the buses we're looking that it goes up against is, first off, Grayson's buses, because he, you know, he created this. Um, so, go ahead and compare it to the other buses. Compared to the Bluebird Vision and the C2, you know, I'm, I would rather have one of those um, in a given situation. Um, not because, you know, it's just uh, better, it's mainly because of the lag. And the lag is really the big issue with this bus that is keeping it from being a really good bus. Um, and, it, and if you don't know what the lag is, it's mainly these tires kind of like flip out whenever they go on uh, servers. But, you know, that I really wouldn't choose this bus over one of his other ones. And like I said, it's not because I don't like it. 
it's mainly just because of the lag and uh, the unrealistic to see if that makes any sense that's not a word um, and then the other type D's well there's only one other type D to compare it to and that's the uh, TC2000 and I think the TC2000 does a pretty good job and pretty much blows it out of the water um, we also have Grayson's um, city bus I don't think that bus is terrible either um, it's certainly a very it's certainly a better type D than the HDX but like I said um, in the beginning of this video this was if I'm not mistaken his first major bus project so I do have to cut him some slack for that and this was created a couple years ago compared to the uh, C2 and his city bus just being created last year in 2014 so with that I'm gonna go ahead and give it a 4 because I do think you know the buses you know the non meshed buses um, you know it's certainly better than this than those but um, compared to the other meshed buses there's certainly a, a lot more choices that you can choose for a bus um, so overall this bus got a score of a 59 which is not a very good score and like I said it's mainly due to that lag if the lag was off um, I think that this bus would be would have gotten a much better score mainly because it scored so low in the lag category um, then it would have gotten pushed up to something else a, a 69 you know <laughs> um, but anyway like that lag is really really killing it and I don't think that he's gonna come back and revisit this bus mainly because he's probably on to something else um, but this is a good bus do not get me wrong but it's only good for single player and it's only good when it's the only bus spawned otherwise it's it will kill rigs of rods um, but I don't, I don't think it's a terrible bus if you ask me this is certainly um, a very good representation of the HDX and um, another one of his great projects I just think that that lag is killing it so that's pretty much it um, if you like this new review system go ahead and let me know um, let me know what you think of it and I will certainly be doing this with all the other buses so um, do expect this for the ACX um, Grayson's and that guy's C2, all of Volk's buses, all of Grayson's buses, all of those buses that I've done. And if you have a bus that you'd like me to review, like do an official review of, go ahead and let me know in the comments below and I'll see what I can do. So yeah guys, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe right down here. It's a magical red button that says you are not subscribed to Safety Line or C2. Make sure you comment up here, down here, or over here, or over here. I don't know where they put it. I don't care where they put it. Make sure you also give this video a thumbs up or you're going to lag like this bus. And make sure you also share this video with a friend. Show it to your mom. Share it to your dad. Show it to a guy on a random street. I don't care. Don't get raped. So, uh, yeah, guys. Thanks for watching.